I was asked what personal qualities, experiences, or qualifications do I think do I possess and I think would make me the best candidate for your district. The strongest personal qualities that I possess that would make me the best candidate for District 15 are leadership, humility, and open-mindedness. Leadership is the juice that's worth the squeeze. Since 2014, I have been the room mom for my son's classroom. I was also my daughter's room mom as well, but she's a little bit younger. In 2014, I knew nothing about the role, but I relied on my son's teacher and Pinterest and learned to love that role. Every year beyond that, I signed up to be the room mom. Luckily, along the way, I was able to share the role with some pretty awesome people along the way. It wasn't just parties, dressing up for the classroom, events, or, you know, even the gifts. I knew that I could have a hand in creating a positive experience for all those students and parents, even for one day for those parties or events that made it worth all the weeks of planning. Leadership to me is taking an opportunity and making it the very best experience for everyone involved. Humility. Humility is not only not being boastful, but being humble and also means that I know that I do not know everything. I am humble enough to listen and correct myself if I am wrong. Humility is knowing your strengths and your weaknesses and learning from them. At my son's school, they had a quarterly event where parents volunteer their time and students come and eat pizza and dance and have fun. Well, I had volunteered previously about a year prior and then I was assigned to, at that time I was assigned to like a dreaded station. No one liked it, but I didn't mind. So at the year event that I'm talking about, I just volunteered for that same station thinking that no one wanted it since, you know, everyone had stated that before that nobody wanted it. Well, <laughs> I was greeted by another parent who was very angry that I was at her station and apparently she is the only other person who has ever held that station, according to her. I simply said, okay, all right, no, that's fine. <laughs> Um, and uh, I walked over and uh, I, I joined my friend at the pizza station. I am humble enough to know that it doesn't matter how I help, but I know that it is important that I do help. Open-mindedness. Open-mindedness provides a pathway for new ideas. New ideas can help solve problems in a more clear and efficient manner. Here's how I helped raise $20,000 in one fundraiser. As the, dish, as the uh, restaurant night person for both Honey Island Elementary and Little Oak Middle, I was presented with opportunities to raise money for the PTAs of those schools. In the previous year, the Texas Roadhouse, Roadhouse gift card fundraiser raised $5,000 for another school in the district. And so I made sure that both uh, Little Oak Middle and Honey Island were participants that year and the year that I'm talking about. So my daughter had just left Cypress Cove and the schools are right next to each other. So I thought to myself, why not Cypress Cove as well? Hmm. So through much uh, teacher and staff participation and parental support, all three schools participated in the Texas Roadhouse fundraiser that year. Cypress Cove ended up raising $10,000 for their school. It all started with me being open-minded and asking, why not? This level of open-mindedness allowed for much needed funds to be raised. This level of open-mindedness allows doors to open and opportunities to flourish. Through my experiences as room mom, PTA member, and a district PTA chairperson, I have thoroughly enjoyed my experiences helping the students, parents, and uh, staff at Cypress Cove Elementary, Honey Island Elementary, and Little Oak Middle. As a district PTA chairperson for the cultural arts program, I was able to experience firsthand the talent, talent of not just District 15, but the entire state of Louisiana. My experiences volunteering for the schools and with the PTA have helped prepared me as the best candidate for the District 15 uh, school board seat. Although my undergraduate degree is in bachelor, is it, uh, it's a Bachelor of General Studies, as you see on the wall, 
I do have quite a few uh, experiences in classes in education. I eventually went back to school and achieved my Master of Business Administration, and I graduated with a 3.8 GPA in 2020 from LSUS. Leadership, humility, and open-mindedness combined with my volunteer work with the PTA and my extensive education make me the ideal candidate for the District 15 school board seat. Thank you very much for listening. I really appreciate all of your support. Please be sure to vote November 8th for Melissa Burton Amato for the District 15 school board seat.